Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield, and welcome back to Breath Edge. Uh, right, so, we've dealt with all of the, the, the mayo, whatever it actually was, I, I think it was mayo, some sort of weird power source or energy source they were talking about. Um, I want to have another go with this biomodule thing. Um, and I have a feeling it is going to involve some sort of explosives. I think I've got to blow the door off or something like that. Uh, I made myself some explosives. I'm wondering if I can go and secure these onto the door itself. I think I've got my scanner with me as well. So if I can scan things, that may give me an idea of what I'm doing. But we're just going to drive back round. I'm going to go via the oxygen station first. And see what's going to happen. I don't quite know where else I'm going to need to go for the other mark, uh, the other objectives. I think probably those three question marks over there, which are all like heavily defended by turrets. So I think for that, I'm probably going to want a um, blaster because I don't know how many more beef grenades I'm going to be able to go about making. Because I, I don't know where to find myself more cans of beef. So if I do need to blow this door open, I'm hoping I only need one set of explosives, because otherwise I might be a bit knackered. What is this odd little bit of wreckage? Have I looked at this? No, some... Is it some dude just sitting here reading a magazine? Into Space Without Fear. How to Stop Being Afraid of Death in Space by Henry Freitzen. <laughs> 145 tips of a practicing psychologist who has never been to space. It's a great book, but to be honest, it is useless. It has expensive paper and coloured pictures, though. <laughs> okay. Is it possible to live a fulfilling life while being afraid of dying in space? The famous thrill-seeker and psychologist Henry Freitzen gives a very clear answer to this question and many other, other ones. So what's his answer? Find out in this absolute bestseller. Read all of Henry Freitzen's books from the series Without Fear. How to go for... How to go out without fear of a piano falling on your head, how to kill a spider with your slipper, how to ask strangers on the street for directions, how to stop being afraid of death in space, and how to calm down in a dark enclosed place. Okay. Uh, published by Book Publisher. <laughs> Excellent stuff. I'm going to take that. Uh, oh, uh, there's a suitcase here. Apparently he died in comfort and without fear. Maybe you could assemble such a bench as well. Maybe I could. Let me uh, scan that. Ta-da! I know how to make a bench. I'd like to be able to make a bed, because... Yeah, I don't have anywhere to rest. I had to go back to the, uh... Uh, the old shuttle to go and restore my health, because I nearly killed myself on the way back from the mayo... thing. So, yeah, being able to make something that I can restore health with... Oh, I just missed that. Uh, where are you? There you are. Um, I'm getting distracted by materials. Let me in. I need some air. Ah. Right, now let's try and get over this biomodule. And... Whoa. Figure out how we need to get into the damn thing. Because I'm going to figure out how to fucking get in here. Do you fucking watch me? Well, I mean, that's why you're here. Let's get around to the door with the lock on it. I want to scan it first. If I can. I can't. You must unlock the doors. I know I must unlock the doors. Where do I unlock the doors? I can't equip the explosives, so I don't know quite what I'm meant to be doing. Although these things over here I was able to uh, interact with to some degree. But I don't know how. None of the tools I have seem to want to work with it. Mm. Some of those, though. Oh, how the fuck do I get in you? Or are these the doors that I need to be trying to break open? Plant explosives! Oh, oh, God! It's got a timer! 
Okay, did that do it? You must unlock the doors. Feck. Blown up mechanism. Okay, so I need to blow up. I need to blow up another three. Oh god. I'm gonna go and find more beef uh, cans of beef. Okay. Let me go and top up my O2 and then we've gotta go searching for some beef. So I need six cans of beef. I don't even have enough storage for them. That gets me down to... Oh, I, I found salt. So, that's something. Um, it was like halfway between the old shuttle and the new one. So, or the new location. So, I, I decided to pick it up. I also found this thing. Grumpy chicken. <laughs> Can I drop you and then examine you again? Where have you gone? Oh, you're just floating. Why are you over there? I can't examine you or anything. That's a shame. Um, right, let's check. I suppose check around the bio module because, like, there's loads of beef stuff and synthetic cows and everything over there. So maybe we'll find some cans of beef. It seems like a you know good place to start. Unless so you know your container. Oh, there's something here to scan. What this? What this? What do? Uh, big window. Oh, God, look at that mess. Oh. Some of these people have really gone out in some fucking unfortunate ways. Um. Oh, some oxygen candles. Those will be very handy while I'm floating around, not knowing what I'm doing. Although that has just completely filled my bloody bags. So it's not done me any favours. Um, oh, hello, hello, hello. Can of beef! Let me eat something. Yoink. Okay, one down, five to go. Keep an eye out for any little can-shaped objects now. A modern space greenhouse. It's used on planets unsuitable for agriculture. It's useless for the liner and takes up a lot of space unless it's used for scientific purposes. Oh, okay. There's oxygen in here. Ah, oh, fantastic. You see, you're seeing all this oxygen? It's glorious! Fucking get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, brilliant cans of beef, inventory fucking full, of course it is. Uh, right, what do I not need? I mean, I need everything. Right, everything's useful. And also not useful, so... Yeah. Uh, is there... Ooh. There's more beef lying around everywhere. It's at the back end of this. Oh, never mind, it's just space. Okay, um... Hmm... Seeds. Cosmo field. These seeds look like potato seeds, but what will grow out of them, or whether they will grow at all, is unknown. Although most likely, it can be eaten faster than eating the gardener. It can be eaten faster than it eating the gardener. Right, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Right, I'm going to have to leave those, because I can't do anything with... I can't carry them. Whether I'm going to be able to grow my own food or not at some point is another matter, but... This is where I'm going to get all of my, uh... Oh, dear, there's a dead hamster in a blender. Hamster smoothie. Ah, oh, protein-rich cocktail made from a natural ingredient. You can drink in an emergency, but it's better not to do so. Diarrhea is a dangerous thing in space. Yeah, I'd say it probably is. Right, I'm going to leave the suitcase. Um, in fact, I may as well just, like, um, place the suitcase. Uh, let me just uh, dump you around about here. And I may as well just dump some stuff. Uh, I don't think I need all the salt. I should have, like, had a proper clear out before coming over here. Um, but, yeah, 
I, I don't think of these things, do I? I never do. This is why I'm an idiot. Let me grab all the cans of beef I can from this place. I'm not, sh I'm not caring about the synthetic manure. I just want the cans of beef. Right, yeah, I think that's everything. Let's get on the bike. And get back to home base. And... Craft ourselves some more explosives. Although I think I might need to go and dig out some electronics from some of those, uh... Garbage robot crashes. Okay, so... I need another three of these, so I need three sets of electronics. Three batteries and three wires. Or three sets of wire. Where have I put all that stuff? I think wire's not in that one. One, two, three. Yeah, I need one more set of electronics. Uh, which is fine. Let me just dump some more bits in here. Oh, I might need some more fuel. I should get the materials for that. Right, let's go find some electronics. I'm going to need my drill. I've only got one use left on this thing, so I'll have to make another one once I'm done. Uh, right. Electronics. Got some over this way. Have you been harvested yet? Don't know if you have. Why can I not get close to you? What's going on with this? Right. Oh, come here. There we go. That got me what I needed. And three sets of explosives. Excellent. Can I put any more ice away in here? Yes, I can. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Now, I think we're ready to go and bust into the biomodule. Let's refuel you. Refuel. Refuel. Let's refuel it. Right, I'm going to have a quick stop in here to top up my oxygen. I'm also going to dump a load of stuff because I don't know if we're going to be doing a similar thing to the Mayo module of launching the bio module into wherever. Um, so I'm going to leave some stuff here that I don't think I'll need. Hopefully there will be some stuff to go and pick up once we get over into... Uh, the bio module. Hello, what are you? You're another can of beef. I'm going to leave you there for now. Right, let's go and plant these explosives. Let's go and blow up these doors. And get our way in. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, boop. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Okay. Have we unlocked the doors? Oh, God. Now you have to find the airlock. Yes. Now I do. Uh. Okay. It doesn't look like milk, even the sour kind, though. <laughs> okay. Xenomorph synthetic cows. Oh boy. Oh, that's just fun, isn't it? Okay. Uh, is this my way in? I think so. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Alright, that's, that's just grand. This is definitely not a cargo section, despite it looking like one in the market, the lighter's declaration. Somebody wanted to keep these rooms secret. Uh, I bet they did. Okay, well, there's oxygen, so that's a good start. Oh dear. Oh, how did this poor bugger go? Uh, let's neutralize this and then maybe find out. How am I meant to neutralize this? Oh, hang on. Somehow that didn't work. Um, what, what were you trying to do? What were you trying to, like, achieve here? 
I don't even think he knows. Do I need to repair this at all? No, it's not even highlighting, so... Fuck knows. Um, let's grab whatever we can find lying around. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna get some gravity at some point. Oh, okay. Big elevator shaft. Hope that thing ain't gonna move. And kill me. Definitely the last thing I want. Uh, God, this this is a bit of a maze. This where I'm going. A laboratory with the most advanced equipment. Individuals don't have access to such technologies. Okay. The fucking hell are you, mate? Cleaning robot. Why would I want to hit it? I don't want to hit it. Something tore him apart from the inside. Oh. Why from the inside? Even trash cans can be luxury ones, but this is not one of them. Oh, okay. Well, at least I can scan it. <laughs> right. Um. So I'm obviously looking for something in here. I mean, I found some fuel. Fuel is always good. So. I mean, you just seem like a happy-go-lucky little sod. Like, why would I want to beat you up? What if I... Okay, well, I can just pick you up and move you around. What, am I going to get something for hitting you and presumably breaking you? I don't really want to do that. Oh, God. The color green perfectly calms the nervous system, relieves tension, and normalizes blood pressure. Not in all cases, though. Looks like some data blocks. Connect me to one of them, and I'll try to find out if there's any cooling gel in the capsules. Okay. Um, first, though, more stuff to go and pick up. And yeah, and oh, oh. A green lamp. Very nice. Some thick electrical tape. Thick electrical tape. Double C thick electrical tape. Some mutated chicken DNA is being examined here. Hmm. Well, we've seen the results of some of these, haven't we? Ah, oh, yes. Data on some Class A biological experiment, which shows cow that cows and chickens have genes and that somebody clearly knows very little about biology and genetics. Okay. The fuck is going on with that photo? What's with the claws? I don't know. Uh, right. A detailed plan of the transport module. Ooh, hello. Large transport module. Right, I haven't got many scans left on my scanner, so I need to be careful of what I go about scanning. A financial report. Line of revenue from tickets sold, ten thousand. Okay. Laboratory is probably sponsored very well. However, it is quite difficult to understand this report without it having some specific details. Hmm. Chicken eggs, ten... Let me flip this round. Chicken eggs, ten packs with nine pieces each. A hundred thousand? A quantity of one hundred? Spicy chicken crests, twenty pieces bucket. <laughs> Six. Increase the number. According to these documents, oh, why do I the want this? Must be sponsored somehow, and that probably also involves the revenue for the liner unnamed. Yeah, probably. Uh, all right. Yeah, for some reason I decided I wanted that information as well. That financial report. Um. So, what am I looking for in here? What am I doing? I don't quite know. I'm going to be plugging my. This is not only the main control post, but also the steering wheel. This section is a space shuttle, but with such damage, it's unlikely to be able to fly. Oh, okay. Is that another... Oh, it's a console that I can use. State Biology University. That looks suspiciously like a Wayland yutani logo. <laughs> Don't you think? Hmm... Is it not... common way to use a desktop aquarium in space. According to statistics, every second surveyed man longs to go in a normal toilet for the opportunity of seeing the size of his organic product. Right, okay. What? <laughs> I really don't know what this fucking computer thing is on about anymore. It just talks nonsense. Right, um, so what am I doing with this? I wouldn't touch anything in here without a manual. 
Uh, of course you wouldn't. Mm. Am I meant to be finding a manual then, am I? I wouldn't touch anything in here without a manual. Alright, well, where's the manual? Oh, hang on, there's a thing over here. Uh, pay attention to your objective markers. Dr. Ripley's report. Report by Dr. E. Ripley. Hmm. In the report, I could not help but point out to the phenomenal survival, survival ability of Subject 14A. As noted above, the most difficult part was not growing the experimental prototypes, but disposing of them. Subject 14A and similar specimens from the same control group regenerated rapidly, even with a cut-off head. Mutations caused by this regeneration often changed their initial appearance beyond recognition. The cells simply did not, did not know the final form of their carrier and produced incredible forms that could not adapt to independent life. We tried to prevent this uncontrolled cell division physically, chemically, and even at the DNA level, but the chicken genes always found a loophole. Yeah. E. Ripley's inspirational note on the success of breeding a new type of synthetic cows, resistance to disease, radiation, physical effects, low, ultra low temperatures, and other harmful factors that do not allow to grow that do not allow to grow animals on planets with such harsh conditions. Yeah. Okay, interesting bit of reading there. Right. Um, so, right, data block, connect. Interesting. There is no cooling circuit here, which means the gel can only be present in the solution itself that is poured into the capsules. The full composition of the solution is encrypted, but we can pump it out using the control post and analyze it manually. Right. Pump out the solution. Uh, if there isn't, that's a euphemism if I ever fucking heard one. Now we need to use this thing. Pump out that solution, shall we? I've downloaded the manual. To clean the specimen capsules, press the blue button. Or the green one. Unfortunately, the manual is black and white. Oh, well, that's fucking helpful, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Something's wrong. I would suggest ignoring what happened. If these specimens end up on some planet and remain intact, then politicians will come up with some story about a super intelligent race that created these creatures to destroy mankind. Press the green button. <laughs> Green. As I thought, the capsules didn't contain all of the solution. Pumping out from the reserve tanks initiated. Oh, good. Jesus. Uh, what the... My screen's gone a bit blurry, or is that my vision? Is, that, that's, what hap like, that's what happens to your eyesight when you pump the solution out too much, okay? So don't do it. Um, where am I going now? Back down this way. Okay, so we launched all of those pods. Oh, are they gonna come back at some point? Am I gonna have to deal with, like, weird xenomorph cow-chicken hybrid things? <sighs> it's gonna be awful. Right, tank with solution. There's no cooling gel here, but the solution contains potassium iodide, cystamine, ondansetron, and some non-standard impurities. Theoretically, it can serve as excellent anti-radiation protection. Just put the solution into the insulin cell of the suit, and I'll calculate the dosage so you don't turn into a vegetable or a mutant cow. I'm gonna inject this into an insulin cell. Your protection against radiation has increased. You didn't even have to launch <laughs> anything into the core, risking the start of an uncontrolled reaction of matter explosion. Although it would have been right to launch this laboratory together with all of its dangerous research. Uh, I suppose it would, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave this little dude cleaning up the place. Fuck you know. Um, right, okay. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing to myself, like, physically. Uh, I, th I think I'm just causing myself like more and more injuries, and where am I going? Get myself stuck on everything again. Always happens, doesn't it? Uh, no, I don't want to go up this far. I want to go through here. Yes. Right. I think I picked up everything from here as well, so... I'm imagining... I wonder, am I the only one who is confused about the fact that these specimens have chicken genes? Many blueprints specify chickens to be the main catalyst for mutations. You even have an immortal chicken in your backpack, don't you? I do. What's it to you? Who knows? I'm going to be nervous about finding those things everywhere now. I'm, I'm sure they're going to come back at some point. That's why we need the blaster. We need to go dealing with those little fuckers. Right, how's my inventory looking? Very, very full. So, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to head straight back to the shuttle, clear out my bags, and... 
I'll probably come back to collect the rest of that stuff off camera. Maybe clear out the area as well. Um, I think it would be good to just clear out the space. And don't have to worry about coming back to it. Alright, well we're back. And I definitely need to eat and drink. Because, yeah, left that a little too long. I want to have a look at the research stuff. I'm wondering if there's anything useful... I could go about making, or go about researching, that's going to be kind of affordable. Um, that military oxygen cylinder is looking very, very appealing. But I need four electronics, two compensators, and two generators just to research the damn thing. And then there's the two accelerators as well. Which I would both... Oh, I would very much like the jet accelerator, I think that would be awesome. Uh, and then the blaster, I mean, ooh... Titanium and electronics. That could be something to try and research. What was I needed? Oh, it was the, the Zars 1 and the vacuum cleaner that I needed the lycoplasma for. Hmm. Right. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to keep this episode short and sweet because... Getting that biomodule stuff out of the way was was a nice um, like objective. Nice to just get that one out of the way, done. Um, I'll go back and I'm going to spend some time off camera clearing out that air, that general area and maybe some of the other sort of shuttle wreck spaces that we've already been to. Uh, there's going to be a lot of back and forth and not necessarily anything you guys need to watch on camera. So I'm going to do a load of that off screen. Um, then... Yeah, next episode we'll try and have a look at some of the other question marks, uh, question markers that we've got lying around. I think to get through one of them, right, I think the engineering spacesuit is something that I will possibly go about researching because I don't, I'm not sure where I'm going to find it. So I may research that just to be able to make that because I think that's going to be the uh, strong temperature or the, you know, it says strong temperature changes. I think that's going to provide thermal, thermal insulation. So that's probably what I'll go about working on off camera. And then when we come back, uh, we'll see if we can tackle another one of these objectives. Um, but yeah, for now, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlists on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, check me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Fucking vent in the floor. Boof. <laughs> Venting the wall again. I'm getting my walls and floors really mixed up at the moment. It's just... I don't know where I am at the moment, I guess.